Fine tune your assets like a pro, adjust colors and get the perfect look for your scene. This video is part of our Unreal Engine full course. Subscribe and check the playlist for more tutorials. Let's talk about the color adjustments. At first glance, the assets I added to the scene seem very bright. Also, my environment should have a greenish tint, but the buildings are not in that color space. If you want to check the value of the colors, you can switch to unlit mode. You will immediately notice that the buildings and items I added to the scene are bright and lack a greenish tint. The goal is to have everything in the same color mode so that when you squint your eyes, you don't see any jarring contrasts and everything looks uniform. To achieve this, we try to match textures and materials by adjusting their brightness and other color parameters to achieve homogeneity. Remember, we have to stay in unlit mode to understand colors well, because in lit mode when we have a light source, it can change the color rendition of our assets. So, start with unlit and adjust it there, then you can return to lit mode and test it there. For example, I can go to editor mode, choose one of these items and find the associated material. Here is the related material. I came out of the edit, so I have a correct understanding of what colors look like for this asset compared to the rest of the building, and I will make some changes. For example, I will decrease the brightness of the albedo by half and add a slight greenish tint to it. Then I will copy the tint and brightness values. Go again to edit mode to quickly be able to locate the materials for other parts of the buildings. Apply the same changes to different parts of the building and ensure that all the building assets look harmonious and appropriate within the scene. Colors look more harmonious across the scene. I will do the same for the roof of this building. I will return to edit mode, select the roof material, exit this mode, bring down the value and apply the tint. Everything looks good, however I'm not happy with the tint. It was too strong, so I will adjust it to make it less pronounced. I will copy this adjusted tint and apply it to the rest of the models. Now, it looks much better. If I enter unlit mode, you will see that everything is harmonious. You can redo these steps multiple times to be happy with what you have in the scene. I will apply the same process to the other assets in the scene. For example, some assets look out of place. I will open the material, reduce the brightness and apply a greenish tint. I will do the same for other elements. If you squint your eyes, you shouldn't be able to see the difference and everything should blend. Even these ground assets need some tint to match the rest of the scene's color space. It's getting better and making the ground material a bit darker will help it blend better. I will continue adjusting these values. There is one outlier in our scene. It is the boat that we brought in from the Sketchfab. When we brought in the FBX file, it automatically created a material. However, we don't have any control over this material as we had over the material instances we had in the Quixel Megascans library assets. So, what is the solution here? Right now, I want to darken the albedo color of this material and consequently the boat. There is a dirty trick here. It's the texture color associated with this boat. If we find the texture in the content browser and open it, on the right side, we will see that we have some control over it. Let's make the texture window smaller and put it on the side. You can reduce the brightness and see the result in the viewport. So let's adjust the texture, which automatically adjusts the material's color and fits the boat in the scene. Overall, we are in a much better place regarding the coloring. If I enter light mode, you will see that everything is harmonious. 
You can always play your game here and walk around to see all the assets in action. In the next lesson, we will discuss how to use foliage mode to add some vegetation to our scene.